Hey, what's up? A new month, a new set of videos, and this month we're gonna focus on instant pot meals. And thinking about that, looks like a lot of you have not made vodka sauce in the instant pot. So let's get into that right now and turn the instant pot to saute mode. And once the instant pot has warmed up, add in the olive oil, a bit of butter, and just warm that up and then add in a good tablespoon of bomba. Now bomba is just a fancy way of saying crushed Calabrian chili peppers. These chili peppers are really nice and sweet, spicy, fragrant, and if you can't find a paste of it, you can use actual Calabrian peppers in oil and just chop that up real fine. We wanna saute this until it has cooked up some of its seeds and the spice that's in it and it's going to release and intensify its flavors. When that is fragrant, add in chopped up onions, a small pinch of salt and then we'll sweat this out until it turns soft. Now it's sort of unclear on the exact origins of the vodka sauce but people say based on my research that it originated somewhere around the 1980s in or around Sicily, Italy. And then it eventually came into the States where it was super popular at discos. So you can see the onions are starting to turn soft. It has a bit of a shine. Now add in minced garlic. Perfect, the onion mixture has become nice and soft now. And that's gonna release lots of sweetness to match with the spiciness. And now add in your vodka. You're gonna add about a half cup. We'll cook that down and reduce it for a few minutes. And eventually the mixture will become super thick. Most of the liquid and alcohol would have kind of evaporated. And now is the perfect time to add in your pasta. Add in your water. Give this a mix and just make sure that most of that pasta is under the water and then add in some crushed tomatoes these are the San Marzano kind now don't forget to season this as well because there's no other point where you would have the chance to really season that pasta close the lid cancel pressure cook on high at normal heat for four minutes and make sure the little guy is in sealing mode so all the way that's okay after two minutes you can set the pressure to release manually mm. That just looks super good. Now usually you would put some cream in it to finish it, but I'm gonna use some cream cheese, but you can choose whichever you want in the moment. So I'm gonna add in just about uh, four to five tablespoons of cream cheese. And the heat in here should be just enough to melt that cream cheese. Mm. Look at that. Before you serve, make sure to adjust the seasoning with a bit of salt. You can add a bit of pepper in there if you want as well. Then we'll add in some fresh parmesan. Use a microplane if you can. And then with a quick mix, a quick taste, a quick adjustment of seasoning, you have a beautiful plate of vodka sauce with penne instant pot version with some more parm to serve, some parsley for garnish. And this plate is looking so good. So this instant pot dish is for everybody who loves Italian, but you don't have time in the week, but you just want a quick dump and go instant pot meal. This is perfect for you. Hit subscribe, hit the bell icon and manja.